हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मैं हूं आपका अपना डीसी टेक्निकल एंड टुडे आई एम गोना टेल यू ईच एंड एवरी स्टेप नीडेड टू फ्लैश एनी जीएसआई इन योर शॉमी 11T प्रो आई एम यूजिंग पिक्सेल एक्सपीरियंस प्लस रोम इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स बिगिन एंड बिफोर स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो हियर आर द लिस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स यू नीड टू डाउनलोड इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोसीड फर्दर The very first thing you need to download is the bootloader unlock tool in case your bootloader is not unlocked till now. The very second thing is your MI flash tool because you need to flash your stock ROM before continuing any further. The third thing is that you need to download the Pixel Experience GSI and the fourth thing is your VB Meta. I will be telling you where you will get the VB Meta everything in the description box you will have all the links for each and every downloads so i would like to tell you one thing for the download of the stock rom that download the stock rom of your region only for example when you click on the link you will see many roms listed out there just look at the middle thing of the build number if it's written in that means it's for india if it's an id then it's for indonesia if written cn then it's for china if written mi then it's for global rom download only and only from your region only one thing i would like to request you people that watch this video full before moving any further in your you know rom flashing procedure because any mistake a single mistake can ruin you into a boot loop so for you know your safety do watch the video full remember each and every step you need to do and then proceed any further don't proceed without watching the full video because you know a single mistake can ruin your device can land into a boot loop and i won't be responsible for that so i would like to tell you that please watch the video full understand it if you aren't understanding anything just comment it below i will reply how to how to do it so let's now move towards our first step so the very first thing we going to talk about is all the files needed for this progress for this process and i won't be showing you the download through browser because else it will be a very long video i will be telling you all the files needed for your flashing of custom rom the very first thing is xiaomi unlock tool for unlocking your bootloader you need to unlock your bootloader using this tool which is the xiaomi flash unlock tool you need to unlock your bootloader if you want to know how to unlock your bootloader then there are numerous videos on the youtube just click any of the video search how to unlock xiaomi's bootloader and you will good to go there is no need to you know duplicate the content because there are lots and lots of videos available on the internet on how to unlock the bootloader the very next thing you will be needing is the mi flash tool because you need to flash your latest rom available for the phone before progressing further and i would like to tell you one thing that before doing this step backup all your data because flashing the rom will erase your data and i am now showing you that while flashing which file you need to select just click on the install install the drivers okay then you need to go to the place where you have kept your flash file okay like for example i have kept in my second drive so i will be going to my pc this pc d drive my phone development mi ui and here select this folder really global images select this folder don't select the images folder inside it select this folder and click okay it will automatically take all the images now you will get three options below three options below don't choose clean all lock because it will lock your bootloader again you need to choose clean all don't even use save user data don't try to save your data else you will be getting errors while flashing the rom you need to use clean all let the thing happen 
let it flash and yes i would like to tell you that your phone needs to be in the fast boot mode when you are flashing the rom let this flash by clicking the flash here once the rom is flashed let it boot when the phone boots to the start screen the very first screen then move towards the third step now we gonna flash our custom rom that is pixel experience plus i have used in this video now we need to unzip the rom we have downloaded that is the pixel experience and then keep the file into our platform tool folder i have downloaded the pixel experience version 415 12.1 that is gsi the very first one i have downloaded because my phone is having 256 gb storage if you are getting any error message regarding storage then you can go for the light version also after you know after unzipping the file just place it on the your folder now you need to place vb meta file in your platform tool folder the vb meta file will be in your stock rom now i will be showing in the video that how to download your stock rom i would like to tell you one thing that download the stock rom of your region only for example i am from india i will be downloading the ram from my country that is india if you are from indonesia download it from indonesia's rom if you are using a global handset then download the global rom that is mi in the center of the name of the rom if you are from china then download the cn rom don't download the rom from different region once downloaded unzip the rom open the folder go to the images folder in the images folder scroll down you will be finding vb meta file in the end because it starts with v here's the vb meta file just copy this file and place it in your platform tools because this is the very first file which you need to flash after installing your stock rom like you have flash stock rom in the second step now you need to flash vb meta in your fast boot mode for flashing vb meta i will be showing you the flash code now remember this code as much as you can and write it as it is don't miss even a single space there now we need to enter our fast boot d mode for that we will be writing the commands fastboot reboot fastboot and voila we are done with the fastboot d mode when you will be you know when you will be extracting the rom then you will see that the pixel experience name is very big i have changed the rom name to pixel.img so that it will be easier while flashing okay so i am checking that if my phone is in fastboot it is in the fastboot i have wrote the command fastboot reboot fastboot to boot into the fastboot d mode you need to write fastboot reboot fastboot in order to boot into the fastboot d mode once rebooted in the fastboot d mode now flash the rom by writing the command fastboot flash system pixel.img as we have renamed the pixel system image to pixel.img let this process complete it will take few minutes and once the process is complete now you have to write fast boot reboot recovery what is the command it is fast boot reboot recovery you need to go into your recovery now because you need to clear your data from your phone will now reboot into the recovery from the fast boot d mode as you can see we are in the recovery now now click on the wipe data using your volume button and select it using your power button scroll down to wipe all data wipe now reboot and reboot to system let it boot and voila you are in the pixel experience rom 
I would like to tell you one thing about this ROM that the heating issue which was there in you know MI UI I was facing a lot of heats it is literally gone to a very much extent in this ROM I get heating issues only when I'm doing extensive gaming there is nothing other you know like if I am sitting at a very hot place then heating is you know very common but if I am sitting in a room air conditioned or even if it's a normal fan working on still the phone never heats up it's the one of the best custom ROM I have ever used once again I am repeating you with the steps first step unlocking your bootloader second step flashing your stock ROM third step flashing your VB meta in fast boot mode Fourth step, flashing your Pixel Experience ROM in Fastboot D mode and the fifth step is clearing your data again using the recovery by recovery commands shown in the video. After your first boot, you need to change some settings in PHH setting option. In the settings menu, very first option will be PHH settings. The settings you need to be changed. The settings needed to be changed are mentioned in the description box just watch each and line there read it carefully and change the settings it will help you making your calls camera speaker everything work perfectly so how was the video did you like it how was the flashing was it easy yes it was so do like the video do subscribe to the channel and do share it to your friends you never know whom you're gonna help it's dc technical long of jai hind